Hello everyone, this is my daughter Sinat. Today she is here. Uh, she helped me a little bit uh, with this construction. I've been showing them a little bit of how to cut and all that. Uh, tomorrow there will be inspection, uh, electrical inspection, first time. And uh, a, a person from Ontario Electrical Safety Authority will be here to inspect my grounding installation, grounding bonding installation. Um, before I start uh, talking about the grounding, I just want to point out my progress here. Uh, so far, we have done a little bit of um, the column base uh, forms. Uh, it's almost done. Uh, we just have to insert rebar and it will be ready for pour. But before uh, rebar installation and before concrete sport, the inspectors got to come and check the, uh, the grounding. So what I did was I went and I purchased an electrical um, book on uh, Amazon and I read about grounding and bonding uh, in Ontario Electrical Code. Um, so it, basically there are three options. I chose this one. This one is supposed to be, uh, looks like it's the best one. So what it calls for is a grounding plate, which is approved by CSA. Uh, so I just purchased a grounding plate that's approved by CSA. And this grounding plate has to be encased uh, 24 deep inch within two inch of concrete. So it's got to go 24 deep inch, 24 deep below a footing, and it has to be encased within two inch of that footing. Uh, it cannot be uh, below slab; it has to be below a footing. So this measures 24 inch, right about 23 and it's encased within two inch. On top of it, there will be an ICF wall going up here. So it will be way below 24 inch. It actually calls for 24 inch below grade. So actually this is about four feet below grade. So it's fine, it should pass inspection, but I'll find out tomorrow. Uh, so far, you can see that I've done many different works uh, I just want to point out that I am a real DI use uh, do it yourselfers. Uh, there are many who claim uh, to, to be uh, do it yourselfers, but I think I am the real one. I've been doing this with um, uh, my uh, cousin's friend, my cousin, and a buddy that, uh, who's helping me. Uh, all these ideas are mine. Uh, I've had them help me put all this together. Uh, some of it I've hired uh, professionals. So for example, step footing, I told the professional I want step footing to be 16 inch. Uh, uh, but you know, I found him on Kijiji. He kind of, uh, he kind of scammed me a little bit because he's, he didn't do all the works that he was supposed to do. He just completed the, the step footing, but he was supposed to do that, which we did all those forms which we did it ourselves with myself and my buddy and basically all I did was uh, complete the step footing for me just covered it with uh, OSB uh, so the reason why I'm talking about this is because uh, I want to point out that I'm an amateur and I'm trying to build a house an ambitious house an ambitious project and so far uh, so good so if you can follow my videos and uh, at the end I, I come out of a house, that means that proves that anybody, if I can do it, anybody can do it, anybody can build a house. Uh, so I'd like you to follow my journey, uh, comment, uh, subscribe, and uh, tell me how I improved, uh, what I can talk about. So this is not about uh, how to do things, it's about my experience, it's about uh, going through uh, the videos on YouTube, learning how to do something, and then sharing that uh, process uh, with you guys on YouTube. So, so far, I've had uh, the footing completed, uh, and be another video on the complete completion of the footing, but this is just on, on uh, grounding and bonding. So basically a grounding plate, a grounding cable tied to a grounding plate, and this will go inside of uh, a room, this will be, this will be um, a landing. The house will come through here. This area is going to be a landing. Uh, 
uh, as we walk into the house and below it is where I plan to have my service panel just underneath the landing okay so I guess I'm gonna find out uh, what the building inspector or Ontario Safety Authority inspector would say thank you so much I appreciate it thank you